What if you could have a powerful computer like your smartphone inside your head? Scientists at Northwestern University say they are making a chip that would connect to your brain to the internet. Yesterday, I spoke with John Brahaney from the National Catholic Bioethics Center about the dangers of such a device. Everybody is going to be worried not only about safety, but reliability sure. over time. Um, and then I think the next thing that we would worry about is, is this going to make some people or some groups more powerful in all they can know and what they can do? Seems to me that's a danger, but also I think we ought to be paying attention to the dangers of ourselves being monitored, mm -hmm. maybe even controlled. And finally, just as with our smartphones, we may come to rely on this technology and fail to develop our own abilities, mm -hmm. our own character. Is there any data suggesting that that is actually the case? Well, I'll tell you, um, I don't think people have done enough research with the chips yet. Mm -hmm. I think there's a lot of research that is ongoing right now with smartphones, and I think it's an interesting, almost parallel example. Mm -hmm. it, it's not in our head, uh, but they are in our hands. And obviously, they, they change people's behaviors. They change how they interact, mm -hmm. you know, and it's not all good. John, a conversation so fascinating, even Pope Francis has weighed in on it. He talked about the dangers of technology in a recent meeting at the Vatican. Let's listen first to what he had to say. Invece di consegnare alla vita umana gli strumenti che ne migliorano la cura, si corre il rischio di consegnare la vita alla logica di dispositivi che ne decidono il valore. Giving life over to devices. Could this kind of chip technology actually really create inequality in society? You touched upon that just a little bit a while ago. Sure, I think it could if we let it. Uh, many of the good things in our lives uh, can be uh, a factor in inequality. Think of education. Mm -hmm. None of us can get ahead with education, and yet I think we pretty much all saw in the news a massive cheating scandal. People who uh, are unequal, they have a lot more money mm -hmm. uh, and connections and influence. There's more privilege there. Mm -hmm. Buying uh, their, their child's way into good colleges. So this is, uh, it is a tool, uh, it's a techne, a technology, mm -hmm. and if we let it, sure, it could increase inequality. Now, in all fairness, there are some implantable chips that are available today, including a device that's placed in the brain to help reduce the symptoms of Parkinson's disease, which we know is debilitating. Is there a difference between that technology and the computer chip we've been discussing? Sure, and right now, my understanding is there are actually scores of thousands of people with chips, but they are all therapeutic. They are all designed and ordered to help them overcome a disease or an injury. And that's a very good thing because people suffer from some terrible debilitating mm -hmm. uh, injuries. This seems to be different. It's not to correct uh, an injury or an illness. And it does seem designed to bring more information into the brain and more communication with the outside world. So that's, that seems to be the difference. That's an important distinction. I want to bring this full circle in the 30 seconds we have left. What role should Catholics be playing in the medical field as these types of technologies develop? You know, I think one of the most valuable things we can bring is our holistic and profound understanding of the human person and mm -hmm. human dignity. With any technology, it can be easy to reduce the person to what the technology can do. But we are not just matter or our bodies or even our brains. And I think sometimes scientists think, will say, well, we are our brains. We're more than that. So Catholics should bring that understanding. I think they should focus on caring for the sick and the injured with this technology, not necessarily commercializing it, mm -hmm. and then work to bring it to everyone in society and to fight against any kind of oppression or inequality. John Berhaney, always a pleasure talking with you. You always bring such great insight. Thank, Thank you so you. much.